and welcome to this week's YouTube video. Do you struggle to see the right colour when painting browns and are not really sure what colours to put with them when using them in your painting process? In this video I am going to show you how to do this. Remember that brown is a neutral and can be made by mixing colours together for example red and green and blue and orange so it is helpful to always think about brown as being colourful rather than a single tube of paint. Identifying the colours in that brown will help you understand what colours to put with it in your painting process. If I show you the colour wheel, brown can have any of these hues in it. So it can be a red brown, an orange brown, a yellow brown, a green brown, a blue brown or a purple brown. Remember that red is our warmest colour on the colour wheel. As the colours move away from it, they become cooler. Blue is the coolest colour on the colour wheel. As the colours move away from blue, they become warmer. Green and purple are transitionary colours, as they can be both warm and cool. Going back to our browns, we can group these in terms of wool and cool. A red brown, orange brown and yellow brown will be warm. A blue brown will be cool. Green and purple are our transitionary browns as they can be both warm and cool. We now have our warm, cool palette. How does this help us? When you view an object, there will always be warm or cool colours in it, depending upon what the light is doing. Generally speaking, if it is a really sunny day, the areas in the light will be warm and the shadows will be cool. On an overcast day, the shadows will be warm but the areas in the light will be cool. The rule is warm light equals cool shadows and cool light equals warm shadows. If we are viewing a brown object, the browns will be both warm and cool depending upon the light. So first, identify what your light is doing, then ask yourself, does my brown have a red, yellow or blue hue? If you are struggling to see it, hold a grey card up to your object to help you. If you are seeing red, it can only be red, red orange or red purple. If you are seeing yellow, it can only be yellow, yellow orange or yellow green. If you are seeing blue, it can only be blue, blue green or blue purple. So this narrows down your choices. Once you have identified the colour hue in your brown, you then work with the complementaries as you would for your regular colours. Complementary colours are opposite each other on the colour wheel. When you lay them together side by side, they look amazing and will always work because they give you your warm, cool colour palette. Putting this in context with our browns, a red brown's complementary is green, an orange brown's complementary is blue and a yellow brown's complementary is purple. For example, if I have identified that my object is a red brown, I will know that I have to mix green into my browns too, in order to give that object a balance of warm and cools. This will make my painting look lifelike. How can I do this? Generally, I tend to start with a base brown and I will adjust this depending on what I see. If I think it's warm, I will add one of my reds that I have on my palette. Is it a strong primary red like cadmium red or is it a cooler darker red like alizarin crimson? I can mix up a black red with alizarin crimson, transparent red oxide and a small amount of ultramarine or I can mix up a lighter red by adding a bit of yellow ochre to my cadmium red. This will give me two very different warm browns. I'll then mix up a couple of greens for my cooler brown. I'll have a mid-tone green of yellow ochre light and ultramarine and also a black green of ultramarine and transparent oxide yellow. I can use this one in my darker cooler browns. Again, depending upon which one I use depends upon how this affects the colour of my brown. The key to using brown is first understanding the hue you are seeing in your brown. Use a grey card to help you. Once you have identified the hue, use its complementary colour to give you your warm, cool colour palette. Pay attention to the colours on your palette. How saturated are they? How opaque are they? How light are they? How dark are they? 
Doing this will help you select the right colours to use and really make a difference in your ability to paint brown objects. In next week's video, I will show you how I painted this spaniel using red and green in my browns. I hope you have enjoyed today's video and found it useful. Please like and subscribe if you can and check out my website sarahhallidayart.com where you will find examples of my work and also details of online classes that I run. Thank you for watching and see you for the next one.